Hello everyone, today's topic is structuring your practice time. My name is Nora and I'm going to share with you a video that I originally made for my students uh, with whom I'm working currently. And then I received some feedback that it can be helpful for others also. So here comes the timesheet app for music practice. Enjoy! Hello dear students, I hope you are having a great weekend. I would like to share with you an app that I started to use about two weeks ago and it structured my practice time. Usually this app is used for business projects, but hmm, as I like to look out of the box, I thought why not to use it for musical projects. The app is Timesheet. As you can see, the icon is a little clock. You can download it on your phone, on your tablet, computer, anywhere. So what I use for this is the timer part, of course. Um, and I set up different projects, different musical projects. Here you can see my projects. Charlie Parker themes, practicing classical music, doing the Kenny Werner exercises, learning new standards. I need to practice my voicings. I need to work on my repertoire. I'm doing my scales and I start the practice usually with warm up. So let's say I start to practice now. I choose warm up. And then I click on the start button and it starts to measure the time. Usually what I find difficult with practice is that I'm sitting in front of my piano and I want to be smart and I want to use my time well and I don't know where to start. When I find my projects far from my piano, when I come here, the only thing to do is just choose one project and work on it. The timer helps me to see that I'm working on a project for 20 minutes, it's time for a short break. So right now it was one minute, it's time for a short break. So you can just pause or stop. Right now I'm going to stop. And when you stop the timer, you can add a little description. What did you practice? Why is it useful? Because next time when you choose the same project, you can just look up what did you do, where to continue. So right now I'm not gonna add any descriptions because I did nothing, but my feeling is very happy. So I save a happy feeling. <laughs> and uh, here is the menu. These are my projects. Just want to show you how to add a new one. Voila! All my projects have different colors. So when I set up a new project, hmm, let's see. Uh, I'm going to play for an exhibition. Exhibition uh, program. This would be my new project. And I give a description. Find pieces for Noel's paintings. Actually, I really have to do that. Huh. Uh, and I choose a color. Noel. She looks like this light blue, wonderful color. And no, it's not a billable project. I don't use these. Uh, other options that salary and office and client and things. So I just save this project. And here we are. I have a new project exhibition program. So why do I like the different colors? Because when I go to, of course, I don't use expenses, tags, raise, blah, blah, blah. I go to statistics. <laughs> and on the bottom of this page, there we are, that we have a pie chart. And I just love this because when I look at it, I know how much time I spend usually with my different projects. What is this? Repertoire practice. I practice my repertoire mostly. After that, I'm working on my voicings. Hmm, 
That's why I don't know new standards, because I just don't spend enough time on it. So what can I do? I need to spend more time on new standards. Next time when I start to practice, I choose this project and I'm going to work on this one. So that's it. That's how I use this little app and it really helped me to, um, to get a strategy. When I sit on, at the piano, where to start, what to practice, what's my goal, what do I want to do today, what do I want to do in the next 20 minutes. So I hope you found this useful and interesting and let me know if you tried it, if it works for you, what are your projects. Already starting to think about your different musical projects helps to structure your practice time. So I wish happy practice to all of you and see you soon, bye bye!